You took back the star rod! Kirby's got back his star rod. Awesome. No, not really. Oh, Mario! Mario, I knew you would save me. Thank you, Mario. What? Huh? I'm awake? Huh? What's going on? This isn't part of my plan. Just look at that 8-bit pixel fiery goodness. It's so hot. Yo, Cam Koopa, what's with all that shaking? Oh, your kingship, the battle with Mario was so intense. That my device for increasing your power seems to start have, mal have started malfunctioning. Uh, it's entirely screwed up, and its power appears to be heading back into your castle. I hate to tell you this, but both of your cast, both your castle and this spot right here are about to explode. We must flee, my evil king. We have no choice. What? Are you really? Are you really? That's a big problem. Let's get out of here, right? Huh? Ah! <laughs> Seems like Team Bowser is blasting off again. Not really, but that's what I that's what like I think they do, like the Team Rock and Pokemon. That is like the most classic thing in the world. I think so. Oh no! Mario, thank you. You did it. You brought back. You brought back our precious Starbucks. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We will use it to bring back peace to this world, or bring peace back to this world. Am I dyslexic? Wait. No, be wait. I forgot her voice. I forgot all these guys' voices. Almost just make ones up right now. Now we'll be able to grant everyone's wishes again. All of this is thanks to you, Mario. When you look at the night sky, you'll know that the glittering stars are passing for you, for your courage. Praising you for your courage. Oh, I can't read for some... Oh, I think I've been reading too much or something, but... Anyway, look upon their bright light and remember our thanks. Oh, this is the gay one, I remember. And you really took it to Bowser, Mario. Really sucked it to him. What impressive strength. The strength. I knew you could do it. Oh, this is the- oh my god, the horse one. Mario! Don't you think we know how hard you were to It wasn't meant to be We won't forget your efforts. Oh, it's the nerd one. I hope you found. I hope Bowser learned something from all this. Maybe he'll behave himself now. Although I say chances are that the face slim. Tis tis. Oh well. Oh, this is Nazi Hitler star. No words can express completely how thankful we are for all that you've done. Hope has returned the boat to Star Haven and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. We're in your dead, Mario. I think I'm a say. There we go, that was the voice. You really rose to the occasion. You're proving yourself to be a grown-up star. <laughs> oh, go on! Well, I think it's time we return to Star Haven. All of the stars are waiting for us there, no doubt. It's time to say goodbye for now, Mario. May the stars forever shine brightly upon you.
Oh my god, they're jizzing off for one last time. It's just so hard. It's so tear-breaking. Not really, but I will miss those star spirits. And I will honestly miss this game, kind of. Mario, I'd like to thank you, too. And Princess Peach, it was an honor to help you in your time of need. I hope maybe to see you again sometime. Now I'll be going back to Star Wait. For now, I'm going to become a respectful star and make people's wishes come true. Thank you so much for helping me, too. You've always been a stellar friend to me. Princess this speech? I, I... Well, no, never mind. I have to go, too. Thank you very much, Mario. I'll always remember you, Princess Peach. Goodbye. And Twink's jizzing off. Oh my god, bye Twink. He was like one of my favorite characters ever. I think. To be honest, I think Twink was one of my favorite characters in this game. I don't know exactly who was. There has been a character that's made me like... I th To be honest, I think Colorado is like my favorite character in this game. And there are those star spirits flying away. Oh, I was- Oh, there's Tweak! Bye, Tweak! I'll miss you! He looks back for one last time. So sad. Never see them again! I don't think he will, at least. Well, except for, like, in Mario Party 5. That, that's, like, the last time I remember them. If you guys actually remember that, they actually do return to Mario Party 5. Anyway. Oh, so that's it, huh? That's how you, you took the stars and brought back from Bowser. It seems like another wild adventure's in the books, bro. The castle's back in its normal place, and everyone's returned home safely. You came through in the end, just like you always do. I'm sounding southern more than Italian, so I don't know how to say Louis, um, make an accent. I know his voice, but, like, it's hard. I know you've been back for days now, but I'll bet you still kind of feel like you're still on the adventure, don't you? And Mario, as the protagonist, doesn't talk, so that's kind of funny. That reminds me, the pals who traveled with you, I wonder what they're up to now. I don't think in a single Mario game, Mario's actually talked. And not those stupid ones where he actually does, like, fortune streaming, I'm sure. No, not those rip-off ones, like, actual Mario games. Goombario! But isn't this Dupster? Oh my god, Derpster! I thought I'd never see you again! Hey, Park Harry, what's up? Get it? Because he's in the sky, so it's like, what's up? Okay, anyway. I had to put in one last pun there, even though I suck at them like crazy, but what else? I thought you were ne you're back at work delivering letters. Haha, ah, sure am. Since isn't, this isn't a social call. Oh my god, he's not saying derp anymore. Derpster's not my derp anymore. It's so sad. I'm gonna miss Dirk, Sturr's derpiness. I guess I just have to call him Tara Carry now. I dropped by to bring you a letter to you. I, ugh. I dropped by to bring a letter to you, Gumbario. It's from Princess Peach. Huh? From Princess Peach? Whoa! What's she writing to me for? Probably she wants to have sex with you, right? We didn't find out. I got 11 more letters. Thanks, Park Harry. See ya. Keep working hard, buddy. Take care. Hey, Goombario, what did Princess Peach like write in her letter? Let me see. Hang on, Goombario. Jeepers! This is an invitation to a party at the castle. It says the princess is having a party and I'm invited to go have fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa!
Now then, gentlemen, it's time to scale the frosty heights to the Crystal Palace. Cooper, old boy, you're in charge of guiding us. Oh god, Colorado. Your prior experience is terribly important to the success of our expedition. Yeah, leave it to me. I know the place front to back. Cooper! Huh? Park, Harry. What brings you here? Phew! Finally made it. I have a letter for you from Princess Peach. Oh, oh, wow! This is an invitation to a huge party at Princess Peach's castle. It's directly from the princess herself. It's got her, her signature on it and everything. Cool! Oh, there's no way I can miss a bash this big, but... But I can't just turn my back on this expedition after I promised Professor Colorado. I should stay here and... Oh, cock, cock, balderdash, don't be so daft, dear boy. Turning down such an invitation would be terribly impolite. This is a golden opportunity. Go on to the party in this instant. Don't spare me another thought. It would ruin the party of the hero of Koopa Village. Nay, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom wasn't even there. Ha, huh, I knew you'd say that, Professor. I knew you'd say that, Professor Colorado. You're so kind and generous. Oh, God, no, he's not, Cooper. Don't listen to his hypnotizing words! Anyway, I'll do it. I hope you guys will be alright without me. I'm gonna party! Cooper's all happy, so awesome. Oh, Colorado, I have a message for you as well. Don't bother coming back home if you wandering buffoon! What a no-good husband! That was a message from your wife. Oh, he got told. Anyway. Colorado, you said on this expedition went out telling your wife again, didn't you? Boy, she was so furious. Girl, she was like, oh my god. Anyway. Oh, gracious, good gracious. P -p 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 Power carry, what in the world didn't you tell me this first? You know, I never noticed that pendant on Colorado until now. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Anyway, this is a crisis, old boy. I must away back home with all due speed. Huh? Did you hear something outside? I think I did. I'll go take a quick look. Hey bro, guess what? Potter Gary stopped by to drop off a party invitation from Princess Peach. He said that he's also. Did I miss something? Oh, okay. He said that he he's also invited to the party, so he took off and said he'd just see us at the castle when we arrive. Now do we better go to best Luigi accent ever? Not really. I was probably terrible. And as you see, we're kind of going to the castle just as we did in the beginning. But hopefully, Princess Peach doesn't get captured for some weird reason this time. So as you can see, it's the exact same thing. I think they actually made the exact same kind of thing here. So anyway. Okay, listen Mario, I'm just gonna run ahead. There's something important I have to do. What is it? Side road, stop secret. Are you kidding me? Luigi's probably writing Are you going off masturbating? You better not. I don't think so. No, Luigi actually does do something surprising. Oh my god, Chuck Rizzo! I get to see him for the last time! Hey! Quiz! It's your old pal, Chuck Rizzo! How'd you like to take part in the quiz game? Nah, just kidding. Let's just enjoy the party. Awesome. I don't care about that girl. I just care about Chuck Rizzo. But anyway, we're heading off to the castle. It's gonna be awesome. And here's Merlin's house. I don't think he's in there. Nor do I want to go in there anyway. So there's not much you can do here. You can talk to the toads and stuff. There's Colorado and his wife. I wonder what they have to say. Greetings, old boy. Here for the festivities at the castle, eh? I can't say I'm terribly excited about it myself. My heart yearns to go to the castle palace. Yearns, I say. So many mysteries await me and my dizzying intellect. Oh, the pain of it all. You understand my yearning, don't you, old boy? I wonder what she has to say. I swear, Colorado, you are the living end. You're always darting here and there insist instead of settling down. Mario, would you believe I have to send Park Harry to gather? I'm at the end of my rope. Please talk to the sensitive. Yeah, 
Yeah, bitch. Take that. I hate you. Yeah, Colorado was one of my faves. He was Toad's fave, but, um, got some Yoshis here. Honestly, I forgot what my favorite character was. Um, I guess I'd have to consider Bowser, Pete, or well, Spooky H. No one likes Spooky H. Um, I guess as soon as we go, we could actually talk to some of these guys right here. So let's do that. So I don't want to just end the game like that. So let's talk to this Yoshi right here. Well, everything on the shore is so new to me. I wish the other guys could have come along as well. Um, Toad, fuck you, I hate you. Oh god, you. Just looking at you, I hate you. What do you have to say? Oh, Mario, how are you so dangerous? Oh, anyway. Uh-huh, I thought so, bitch. It looks like today's part will be even better than the last one. Lots of singing and dancing since the earthquake. Yeah, I remember that. That was like four months ago or something. Yeah, good memory. Welcome to Princess Peach's Castle, or just Peach's Castle, t -t -t today. We have many special guests, so I'm very nervous. My heart's pounding. Dum, 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 dum. So I guess let's just go in. Mario, welcome to the castle. Princess Peach should be here very shortly. And now, Princess Peach! Oh, I'm so glad everyone could be here on this special day. The Star Ox, stolen by Bowser, has been returned to its rightful place in Star Game. Peace has once again returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. Bubbles, the star is shining with more beauty and power than ever before. It seems like they're sending us the things. Mario, Mario, Cooper, Bumpet, Car Theory. Bart, Sushi, Black Luster, and everybody across the land of the Mushroom Kingdom, we've regained peace because of all of your efforts. Thank you very much indeed. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the Mushroom Kingdom will enjoy peace and prosperity for a long time to come. Perhaps forever. This is my heartfelt thought wish. So making that Peach voice throughout this entire game has, um, has been very interesting. So! Luigi! Oh my god, he's running the parade. Who knew? Not me, of course. It's not like I'd never play this game. So! Give it a second. Paper Mario staff. So here we are in the credits, kind of like a parade thing. I loved how how they actually did like kind of a visual here to um, close up this game right here. And we've got all of Mario's partners right here, and this this the starship or whatever you want to call it. So that's kind of cool. Then director, some name I can't pronounce. I'll try. Toshitaka Marita Karunagasi. I can't. Pronounce. So, I guess I'm going to finish off my thoughts here. So, um, this Let's Play has been very interesting. I mean, um, it's just a start, I know, so it wasn't the best thing I think I've ever done, ever. But, you know, as my first Let's Play, I kind of tried to be funny in the beginning. I don't think it worked that well. Um, it was, it was very, and look at that. Oh my god, Cooper Brothers, so funny. And we've got, um... So anyway, um, I, I like to talk about the visuals, but more importantly, um, what I was saying. So yeah, as my first let's play, it's been a very, it's been a, it, it's had its up, its ups and downs. I mean, it honestly was not the best in the world. Like I could have done better, but it's just I haven't had the time. I mean, it takes a lot of work, and especially since you know. I just started to get settling with my first book play. It was it was very interesting. I mean, I w I hope to do better in the future, and I think I'm getting I'm starting to get used to this and getting better at it. 
and um, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this let's play. It was it was very fun and it was kind of awkward at times. And you know, I'm gonna try to start being a little different later in my let's plays. This first one, I just kind of you know, this was kind of a one to mess around with. But I guess this was more of a just something for me to have fun with and. No, it was very interesting. I wish it could have been better, but as I said, I didn't have a lot of time to actually work on it. And I wanted to get this Let's Play done by the end of the summer. I'm sorry about having a bit delay here and there, but I've had a very busy summer, and my school year was kind of busy too, when I um, first recorded this back in April. So, I'm sorry if it took me a little while to actually finish this Let's Play. But I'm gonna, I'm actually looking forward to my next Let's Play. It's not much of a Let's Play, it's gonna be quite short. It's more of a kind of a, a run through of something. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but I think you guys are gonna like it. It's not really a Let's Play kind of thing. You can see Yoshi right there, the volcano looks really cool. But, um, I, at the same time, this was very difficult. I liked recording this. It was, it was very silly. I, I, next Let's Play, I'm gonna try to be a little more serious about it. It's nothing serious at all. It's, it's a very casual game. Um, it's not too, I mean, um, like I said, I'm doing a collaboration, so that is a little hint to what it is. It is a multiplayer game. For, and it is going to be for Wii, like this one. Well, this is for Nintendo 64, but I'm playing this on my emulator. For the, or it's not an emulator, but like the downloadable content or whatever for the Wii. So that's how I did this one. And as you could, as you notice, I had this on my SD card. So like, sometimes I'd actually forget my SD card. And then I have to run back to my room or something. I have in like my 3DS. So I'd have to run to my room. And this is kind of funny. Oh, look at this. This is very funny. This is <laughs> okay, so that's kind of funny. Because, you know, like, he copies himself, and then, look at this. Kami Koopa and, like, um, Junior and Troopa, they're having a little wizard battle here. It's kind of, I like that. I like how they, how they kind of made this, these credits very interesting like that. Like, it's a little parade with everything going on here. And although I've been talking throughout the whole credits, I don't think the credits will interest you at all. So even if you're completely ignoring what I'm trying to say to you guys, at least you get something visually interesting, rather than, um, socially interesting, I say. So as you can see, we've got the Star Spirit here, and now it is nighttime of the parade. So we're getting through these credits. And god, my foot hurts. I had like my foot at the side of my bed and there's like this metal thing. So like my foot got like like a mark on it or something. Ugh. And that hurts. So like what I did in the beginning of the Let's Play, I sat at, like right next to the computer. I felt like it was so uncomfortable. So what I did is I um decided to sit at the bed right next to my computer. So I can't like see the time or anything. But I think it's completely manageable. To, you know, it's much more comfortable. Now, as you can see, these are the these are the amazing daisies. I actually never ac got to show you them, but those gold flower things, those are the amazing daisies. What they do, they give you like a lot of star points if you actually keep them. They are kind of hard, and they are pretty rare to find. So here are Merlin and his ancestors, or not his ancestors, but his siblings, whatever, in the great tree. Then we've got um the bubbles. They're very interesting. Then we've got Super Mario Club. I don't know what that is, but okay. More Japanese names, except for that one on the very bottom. Jeff Miller. And Mike Fudakubo or something. Fudakubo or... I don't know. And look, we've got General Guy. He's doing like a hip-hop shit dance freak-out thing. I don't know. It's kinda I like that. It's very cool. Um, yeah, so, um, my game, the, my recommendations to this game, I recommend it if you like, um, RPG games, for sure. This is a lot different from, uh, usual RPGs. This is a very, kind of, 
Mario oriented RPG. It's the first. It's actually the second Mario RPG I think ever in creation. So they actually called this Mario RPG 2 back in like some some time that I didn't exist. I'm only 15. I'm not like 30 or anything. So I don't know all of this ancient stuff. But there are Mario and Peach on that that mushroom thing. So that's very cool. And there is Twink. And I think we're about to close off on this game, guys. So yeah, I recommend this game if, you know, you like RPGs, you're into Mario and that. I highly recommend the game just overall. It's a very good game. It's not the best of the Paper Mario games or any of the Mario, but it's fun. Especially if it's your first time playing. I've played it quite a few, so it gets kind of old, but, you know, it's a very good game. So, this is the end, guys. This has been Yoshifying, also known as David. I'm just called David. Um, I don't want to even say my last name. I don't want to get started with that. But, yes, this has been Yoshifying, or if you guys just want to call me David for now on, that is my real name. Um, this, yeah, so that's been me, and this is Yoshifying, signing off. Bye. If you like this video, and want to see more Yoshifying goodness, and what my next Let's Play is even going to be, please click the subscribe button now. Thank you for subscribing. Bye.